We're here at ITU Telecom World 2012 in Dubai, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Deborah Taylor Tate, who's the ITU Special Envoy for the Child Protection Initiative or COP. Deborah, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you, I'm thrilled. I'd like to talk to you about the sessions that you've been involved with here at the ITU Telecom World. It has just been an unbelievable week. It really has. I started out with um, girls and women in ICT, which I'm so thrilled the Secretary General for the first time ever has established an initiative here at the ITU trying to encourage girls and women to stay involved in STEM education and then take jobs in the ICT industry. And from there, I went on to M Health, which and E Health, which was so interesting because, as we all know, the the Technology is really not about the technology itself, but it's really about saving lives and improving people's lives. And that that's what's really most important about all these fabulous gadgets. I held up my mobile phone and I said, what is this? And everybody said, it's a phone and it's a Blackberry. And I went, no, it's a nurse, it's a doctor, it's an emergency room. Um, in some, some cases, it's really a lifeline. Um, what I loved about that session was learning that in many countries they're able to use old technologies like SMS and text or even voice that turns into text um, as well as all these you know new unbelievable applications um, simulated babies to teach villages how to save people's lives um, and I also loved the aspect of that everybody doesn't have to have a medical degree you can have what are called interveners who are actually just learning very very, very uh, simple tasks like compressions, but that can literally save an entire village. Now the ICT sector has been going incredible transformations. What do you think are the major opportunities being afforded by this? Well, obviously education and the access to the whole world is just unbelievable. And so actually my third session had to do with children. And so while there are many um, fabulous, dazzling opportunities out there for children, and we certainly want to continue to try to reach every child, every village, every school with broadband, in the entire world. At the same time, we have to take into account the fact that there are risks and dangers online as well. Um, and so again, the Secretary General had established the COP initiative, Child Online Protection. We are now having workshops and um, national plans to try to help each individual, either region or nation, to bring this whole multi-stakeholder approach together so that you have the ministers of education and teachers teachers, healthcare providers, policemen, children and parents, so that all those people are coming together along with the ICT providers to say what can we do to make sure that this is a trusted and safe place for our children. Coming back to the first session that you were involved with, women and girls in ICT, what, what do you think are the major challenges in getting women and girls involved in this sector? Well, you know, it's just sad to think about that we are more than 50% of the population, and yet we really have a very low percentage of jobs in the ICT industry. Um, there is some new research out showing that when a woman is involved in an ICT job, this particular study had to do with women in call centers in India, that it obviously Obviously, not only impacts the economic level of that family, it also uh, impacts the educational attainment that her daughters want to reach and helps with their health and obviously their livelihood, which also helps with the whole community's economic well-being. So it really has an exponential, uh, uh, you know, end when a woman really gets involved in ICT. The other thing that we've seen obviously in African villages is the whole concept of the village phone, um, that women actually become the bankers, you know, in an unbanked society. So there is such unbelievable opportunity and again, just the exponential nature of having women involved. So I'm very excited about it. I just think we have to keep girls younger and younger involved in STEM science science, technology, um, and math, so that then they will be part of the pool of workers going forward. And remarkably, it's not just in the ICT industry, but 95% of all jobs will involve some kind of ICT training. 
We're here at ITU Telecom World 2012. How would you describe this event to somebody who hasn't been and, and what would you hope also the outcomes of this event to be? I think describing it is the entire world is here in one place to have one conversation about um, really something that we're all sharing and that is technology, the good and the bad, um, and how we're going to move forward to all um, reach the economic attainment, the educational attainment, the medical, the wonderful medical breakthroughs that are available, um, you know, to both lower cost and increase access. So so it, it has really been an exciting moment in ICT history to be here. Deborah Taylor, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.